Dancers! Welcome back to Dorm Deep Dives, where I bring you guys into one of the dorms here at the University of Michigan to show you what it's like. Today's dorm is Stockwell. So Stockwell is known to be a more like sophomore, junior, senior, basically non-freshman dorm. However, I do believe that some freshmen do live in Stockwell. It was very nice. I walked in and like their lounge sitting areas are like beautiful, which is something I really didn't expect. A shout out to Jenna who let us into her room. Jenna's the best. And so here we go. Hi Madsters, I'm Jenna. Welcome to my room in Stockwell. The first thing I have is a daily checklist. <laughs> um, my last semester didn't go very well, so I was like, this semester I'm gonna like type down stuff of everything I wanna do to make this semester a little better. This is sort of like my food area. This is the women's edition of the daily. I'm a photographer, so I took those two pictures. Amazing. <laughs> so I have a lot of different daily stuff, like there are a lot of newspapers around my room. Um, microwave and fridge. I got them just to be safe, but I honestly don't really use them. I've used my microwave like three times the entire year. I store some drinks in my fridge, but like, not a lot. Um, I have hats, drawstring bags, all of my like, toiletries. Usually you can like keep them in the bathroom, but people on like, this side of our floor don't. So I just leave it all in here. This is my closet. I have just a bunch of random stuff at the top, stuff for when I get sick, just random stuff, some cleaning supplies, all of my sweatshirts, laundry, snow boots in there. I have like gym backpack, towels, just stuff like that. It's just a pretty standard desk. I have some mugs that I've never actually used, succulent, my study cat. I have two cats at home, so my parents decided <laughs> to get me one that looks a lot similar to my cat, just so I wouldn't be so homesick. And my sad lamp. I should use it a lot more than I do, but it's to help with seasonal depression, <laughs> which I didn't realize was so severe until I actually came here. This is one of my favorite parts of my room. It's all my credentials. Um, from Daily, Enzian, and then a couple of medals from our last club gym meet. I really enjoy reading, so I have some books, another Daily, um, some notebooks, just write some stuff down. And then I have a little California stuffed That's cute. toy that my <laughs> got me. I got these two at the poster sale in the Union last year. My brother took this one, and I took this one. Blackout curtains. I highly recommend, they just add a little bit of darkness. I really like it dark when I sleep. So if you want to make your room darker, blackout curtains. Around my wall I have fairy lights and Polaroids. Just fun things that have happened over the semester that just bring me joy and things I just want to look back on when maybe I'm having a tough time. My bed, it's half lofted, so I have a stool to get up because when I'm tired I don't want to jump up. I guess underneath. I have my camera equipment, um, my shoe rack with all my shoes, and then just some storage for hair stuff, and then that's where my workout clothes and gymnastics clothes all go. I guess my room is a little bit more bare than most people would, just because I think I'm from California, so I don't really want to go through the hassle of buying a bunch of stuff and then at the end of the year either having to throw it away or storing it, because storing it costs money, so I just keep it minimal, keep it to the things I need. Yeah. How has your experience at Stockwell been? It's been pretty good. It's just a really nice storm and I have a single which I really enjoy. There have been some conflicts just because my freshman year I was in an all-girls floor so people like knew how to act and they had some common sense. I am currently sandwiched between two guys who sometimes don't know that they're being too loud so I have to you know ask them to quiet down if I'm sleeping but other than that it's a great place to live. It's close to everything that I need, the gym, the dining hall, the bus stop. So it's a good location as well. How did you get a single? I knew that I wanted a single coming into my sophomore year because I'd already gone through the roommate experience my freshman year and it was fine, but I kind of just wanted my own space. I knew that there were only two dorms for sophomores, North Quad and Stockwell. And North Quad is like far from everything that I wanted. 
So I knew I wanted to come to Stockwell, so I applied to Second Year Experience, which is a learning community. And I think I just said that I wanted a single, but we haven't really done anything in Second Year Experience. I think they tried to do like one event with resumes, but that fell through, so I'm really just here without the learning experience. What is like the social scene like in Stockwell and have you met people on your floor? I don't think there's much of a social scene just because it is called second year experience so it's mostly sophomores um, and everyone sort of already has their own friends. Sometimes I hear people walking through with their friends but I've never met anyone on my floor. Walking the halls I really see nobody. It's quite empty. Why did you choose to live in the dorm again for your second year? I just kind of didn't want to have to worry about cooking, kind of taking that next step into like adulthood um, before I really felt comfortable and my parents were all for it. They kind of wanted me to live in a dorm just so I had the dining hall. And again, it's in a great location so it kind of took away that stress of worrying about how to get groceries, how to, you know, cook and just gives me a little more time to figure all that out. What is your best advice for someone who's nervous about living in a dorm? You know, that first week, honestly, leaving your door open, the first time I moved in, I needed help lofting my bed, so I went into a girl's room whose door was open, and there was a bunch of other girls in there, and they all came, and they helped move me in, and it was just a very nice community, and it felt like, okay, there are other people who are going through the same thing I'm going through right now, and we can all kind of come together and figure it out. Can you compare and contrast your last year's dorm, Mojo, to Stockwell? Yeah, so Mojo I was also in a learning community. I was in Women in Science and Engineering, and that was a lot more of a learning community. So we did a lot more activities. There were mandatory activities. It was just a lot more strict, and there were more requirements in second year experience. So I found my friends through WISE. Just like with the living situation, it was a bunch of girls, so they were a lot more respectful and a lot more like courteous when it came to quiet hours, which I was really happy about because I'm someone who does go to sleep early and kind of just needs to settle down when night comes. I mean, there were still some issues. It's a new change for everybody. We we're all freshmen. We were all trying to figure it out. I really enjoyed the community of Mojo a lot better. Mojo was what I needed my freshman year. Stockwell is what I need my sophomore year. Sophomore year, I have my friends. I just need a space to come, sleep, get some work done. Mojo really helped me to find those friends and to find more people who have similar passions as me in science and engineering. Would you recommend living in Stockwell? I would. I think it's just, it's a nice place to live. The rooms are pretty nice. I don't really know what a double looks like. I haven't really seen any of those rooms, but I think the single is a perfect space, perfect amount for just one person to live. Well, that was all for Stockwell. You know, pretty standard dorm room. And definitely like to echo Jenna, I have heard it has been very like less social due to the fact that it's mostly non-freshmen. So I don't know. You can still go out of your way to go meet people. Definitely still opportunities there. Non-freshmen maybe looking to live in the dorms again. Stockwell is definitely a good choice. Once again, thank you to Jenna for letting us into her room. And I hope this is helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, monsters.